Begin with this news breaking at six and the Atlanta based CDC cannot seem to make up its mind regarding how the coronavirus spreads. Good Monday evening to you. I'm Rick Fulbaugh. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Gables. Earlier today, the health agency changed guidelines about the virus. The change came after another change just last week. CBS 46 is Jamie Kennedy live tonight. Jamie, you're sorting out the confusion. Sean, a confusion is right for the public. So on Friday, the CDC was saying just by you breathing on someone now, that could also have a deadly effect with the coronavirus. But that has been revised back to droplets such as you sneezing being the major way of how you can actually pass on the coronavirus. Now, this could have had major implications for us opening the country, including schools. The CDC says the reversal from Friday's new COVID-19 recommendations saying the spread could possibly be by aerosols such as you breathing on someone was because what was published was a draft that had not been reviewed properly. A top infectious disease expert I spoke with says that it's very odd that it was published like that. He knows many at the CDC and says guidance of that nature would usually go through several review processes before being published and believes someone is certainly getting a dressing down for this slip up. The new recommendation about aerosols such as your breath spreading the disease could have had major effects on how we are reopening the country, especially for children going back to schools. Aerosols would be much, much harder to control. Um, if everyone wears masks, they're still controlled, but it, it is much more a worry. An aerosol can, like I just said, linger in the air and someone can go in a hall that doesn't have anyone in it at that moment and encounter an aerosol. Now, it has been widely reported that the recommendations by the CDC have been politicized over the recent weeks, and that's what you can see the protest here in the background, the people doing a die-in here at the CDC headquarters, protesting about politicians' influence on recommendations, saying this certainly shouldn't be something that politicians should get involved with. Live at CDC headquarters, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News. Jamie